Glazing your ceramics. The first thing that we're going to do is a graffiti write. And this graffiti write is about glaze in ceramics. So what you're going to do is, in your table groups, write down as many things as you can about glaze in ceramics. And everyone must write at least once. Go! Bisque ware is ceramics that has been fired in the kiln but is not glazed. Glaze ware is ceramics that has been glazed. Glaze is a lot like an M&M. The outer shell of the M&M is like the glaze and it makes ceramics stronger. You'll have a choice of 10 different colors and these colors can also be applied in layers to mix colors. This is the kiln room where we have two kilns and one of the kilns is currently cooling down and then the other kiln is already cooled down and open. Now I'm going to glaze my pumpkin box that I created and I chose the colors carrot and mint green. Carrot is a bright orange color and mint green is kind of a light green color. So the first step is to begin applying the glaze in one coat. So one coat means one application of your glaze. And I'm really making sure to get in all of those small spots. So the spots where it might be kind of tough to get the glaze, I'm going to kind of glop it on. So I'm making sure to really dab my brush into my ceramics to make sure that there are no white spots. If there are any white spots showing, um, those white spots will stay there and they're not going to be glossed. And I'm going to make sure to put some glaze on the inside of my box. So glazing the inside is what we want. I'm not going to glaze the rim of the box though because the lid is going to rest on top. The reason why I don't do this is because if I put that into the kiln, then my lid might get stuck on the bottom of my box. So I leave the rim of the box with no glaze. I'm just going to leave it blank. And now I'm going to apply my second coat of glaze. So I already put my first coat and now I'm doing the second coat. And I'm making sure that I'm careful I'm not getting any glaze on the bottom or the rim and now I'm applying my mint green to where I want the green and I'm making sure to do two coats so I let the first coat dry and then I do a second coat now you'll notice I got some glaze on the bottom so I need to make sure to sponge that off because if I just left it like that it could melt in the kiln and actually fuse to the shelf in the kiln. So you need to wipe off the bottom with a sponge. And then when you're finished, you can put the lid back on and make sure your name is on the bottom.